Hi, my name is Ian Buck. I'm the general manager for GPU computing software here at NVIDIA, and I'm here to talk to you today about CUDA 5. New in CUDA is our NVIDIA Insight Eclipse Edition. This brings a, a complete IDE for developing with CUDA to the Linux and Mac platforms. We, with it, we have a, a CUDA aware editor that allows you to use automated GPU uh, to CPU code refactoring includes semantic highlighting of CUDA code and is integrated with all of our documentation and samples. Compiling and debugging your code is easy as you can switch into our Insight Debugger, which allows you to simultaneously debug CPU and GPU code, inspect variables on the GPU, and single step and use breakpoints of G uh, inside the GPU. Finally, for optimizing performance, you can switch into the in Insight Profiler, which can quickly identify performance issues and includes an expert system which automatically performs aut analysis of your kernels to understand where your performance problems might be and links you right to the documentation of how to resolve them. Next, it, we've added support in CUDA for extended GPU Direct, which allows for complete RDMA between one GPU and any other GPU in a network cluster environment. Data transfers now can happen directly out of any GPU's memory, communicating strictly with a, with a InfiniBand or other high-speed network card to any other GPU in, in your cluster without ever involving assistance from the CPU or staging to it transfers through system memory. Thirdly, we have support for GPU library and object linking. This allows the user to separately compile the individual portions of their GPU code and link them together into one uh, GPU application. It also enables third-party libraries to, to compile code and share objects and libraries with other G GPU users to directly link and support GPU callable libraries. And finally, in CUDA 5, we've extended the programming model to support dynamic parallelism, making the GPU computing even easier and broaden its applicability. With ben the main benefit of dynamic parallelism is it allows the GPU to spend its cycles and performance wisely and where it's most needed in a simulation. With traditional data parallel approaches, um, a, a simulation like this fluid simulation has to create a regular mesh over the simulation to capture the f phenomena that it's trying to uh, simulate. But in a, lot of, in a lot of area in the simulation, as you can see here, there's wasted cycles and wasted cell simulation cells. With dynamic parallelism, the GPU can decide for itself where the interesting things are happening in the simulation and ref dynamically and adaptively refine the simulation mesh to capture the, and spend its cycles where they're most needed and get the best performance. CUDA 5 is available now. Just go to nvidia.com slash get CUDA and download today. Thank you.